and Europe may become more expensive due to the growing distance between the two continents. Airline operators have clued into the fact that the Atlantic Ocean is spreading wider, resulting in dramatic increases in ticket prices. If we add a dollar for every centimeter increase in distance, we could expect the ticket prices to rise a whopping $2,500. What? 1,000 years from now. Luckily, none of us are going to have to deal with that because we don't live that long. But how can the distance between Europe and the US be growing? Well, to find the answers, I'm heading to the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, to Iceland. So it's true that the surface of Earth is not completely still. And what we refer to as Earth's surface is actually several parts. The answer to how this works is called plate tectonics. Earth's surface, the crust, is divided up into seven major tectonic plates and several minor plates. They're all constantly in motion, although slow motion. The movements of Earth's surface starts deep within the planet in the mantle. Earth's 2,900 kilometer thick mantle is the layer beneath the thin outer crust and above the outer core of the planet. Between 100 and 200 kilometers below the Earth's surface, the rock in the mantle is near the melting point. This zone of slowly moving rock is where geologists believe that the tectonic plates ride. Heat is transferred in the mantle by convection currents, and these convection currents provide the energy to move the tectonic plates. The boundaries where tectonic plates meet are divided up into three main types, convergent, divergent, and transform boundaries. Convergent boundaries are where plates move towards each other and collide, and sometimes one is pushed under the other or subducted. These subduction zones can form deep trenches in the oceans. When continental plates collide or converge, they can crumble and push up tall mountains like the Himalayas. At transform boundaries, the two plates slide horizontally past each other. And we can see this at the San Andreas Fault Zone in California. In the Atlantic, running straight through Iceland, is a divergent boundary where the two plates spread apart at a spreading center called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This boundary is slowly splitting Iceland apart by about 2.5 centimeters per year. The spreading is happening all around this place and right down there. And we're gonna take a closer look. Cool. This is amazing. This rift is a part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the boundary that is splitting Iceland apart. One side being on the North American plate and the other side being a fragment of land in between the North American plate and the Eurasian plate. Magma pushes up from the mantle, then cools and hardens, adding new crust to each side of the spreading center like two giant conveyor belts moving in opposite directions. And I can even see proof of recent activity down here too. The hot magma builds up a ridge crest, but as it moves away from the spreading center, it becomes more dense and sinks along the deep ocean floor. Here in Iceland, it's great because scientists can do land-based studies on the same spreading that is happening on the mid-Atlantic ridge on the bottom of the ocean. But I gotta say, this dive was cool, but it's about one degree Celsius down there and I'm freezing now, so I'll be happy to warm up soon. Oh, that's better. Whew, now I'm warm. Regions with hot magma as close to Earth's surface can have other benefits too. The magma heats up water for hot springs. Okay, so we've learned that Earth's crust is constantly in motion as it rides atop the mantle. We've also learned that tectonic plates can collide, spread apart, or slide by each other at plate boundaries. 
the plates move around the planet because of the heating and cooling convection currents in the mantle. Earth is constantly in motion, so never stop exploring your changing world. One thing you can do is take a look at a world map with your friends and find the plate boundaries between the different tectonic plates and discuss together how you think that the appearance of Earth's crust might change in the future.